Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today I'm going to share what I eat in a day with you. I know no one asked, but my mom is going to enjoy this content. We talk about what we eat all the time. Hi mom. So first thing in the morning, I start with water, mainly because I don't enjoy drinking water at all and it is a constant battle. So I start the fight early and drink water. After I've had water, then I can move on to something that I do enjoy, which is tea. I love Tea. Loose leaf tea. I'm part of a tea of the month club. I have quite a selection. What can I say? This girl likes her options. And I get up in the morning and I'm thinking about what kind of tea I'm going to have. How am I going to have it? What do I feel like? Do I want a fruit blend? Do I want a spice blend? Am I going to have it with honey or rock sugar or brown sugar or no sugar. I just love tea. I also love sweet tea and kombucha. I wish I loved water as much as I love tea. If I did, I would not have a problem. Anyway, after I've had my tea, then I have one of my two go-to breakfasts lately. If I'm short on time, which is often, especially if I'm going to the office that day, I'll have a bagel with cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning with lots of green onions onions on top. I love that breakfast. It is so good. I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. Then later on after I've had my bagel, I'll have fruit. And all of those things I can throw into my bag and assemble at work if I'm running late and still feel like I've been properly fed and not deprived of anything. On those days where I have a little more time, I will have creamy grits with roasted vegetables, which might sound strange for breakfast, but I love savory breakfast. The savorier, the better. I tend to save the pancakes and the waffles for when I go out with friends, when I'm having brunch, not because I think they're bad. I love them, especially pancakes cooked in a cast iron skillet with the crispy bits. There's this restaurant here called Saprika that makes amazing cast iron skillet pancakes with hot syrup and butter, wonderful. But for me on a regular basis, I need to try to get the vegetables in and eat them in a way that I enjoy so I'll eat them regularly. So the grits and the vegetables it is. Later on that day, that morning, I will have fruit. I will grab a piece of fruit, an apple, an orange, a banana, a mango, whatever I happen to have and eat that a little bit later on. And then more water because I am always trying to drink more water. For lunch these days, I've been really enjoying northern beans in some way, shape, or form, usually in a soup. I'll take the beans, I'll throw in some carrots, some onions, some celery, and I'll season it with thyme or rosemary, maybe a little chili powder if I'm feeling like I want something a little spicier and let everything simmer down. And I might pair it with a protein, maybe chicken, maybe not. I like to have spinach in there and it's just such a filling thing. And then after that, a little bit later, I might have fruit again or if I'm at home, I'll make popcorn. If I'm at the office, it might be a bag of pop chips I've got stashed in the drawer or possibly if I have any on hand, a piece of chocolate, but it's got to be good chocolate. I'm a bit of a chocolate snob. My personal opinion, there's chocolate and then there's chocolate favored candy and give me the good chocolate or give me nothing. Then it's more water because I am always trying to drink water. Then when it comes to dinner and if I'm in a hurry and I'm not having dinner with friends, in order to keep myself out of the drive through or from ordering takeout, I will have what I call my loaded pasta dish, which is basically angel hair pasta topped with artichoke hearts, black olives, green olives, spinach, garlic, the Rotel diced tomatoes with green chilies, and sometimes I'll pair that with chicken breast or a piece of salmon. Sometimes it's just the pasta. I just love it. It feels so good, especially on those days where I am just over everything. On top of that, it's really quick to cook and I just enjoy it. I mean, who doesn't love pasta? And if it just so happens that I may have indulged in a few too sugar shenanigans that day, maybe Maybe I hit Donut City for breakfast instead of either one of my regular breakfasts. Or maybe I left my lunch at home and I went down to the cafe in the building I work in and had grilled cheese and fries and zero vegetables unless you count that slice of pickle that comes with it. And I feel I need to 
eat some more vegetables, then I will make zoodles. I have a spiralizer and I happen to love zucchini. So I will give them a quick pan saute with garlic and then I'll just load all of my toppings on top of it and eat it that way. It's something that a younger me, maybe five, six years ago, would never have touched because at that point, my food groups were salt, fat, grease, and sugar. I used to tell anybody that. I ate what I wanted without any regard to nutritional value. I think it was more of a personal rebellion because I was consuming a lot of health magazines that were telling me in order to be healthy, you need to eat like this or like that but none of the foods that they were sharing with me were things that I liked I was familiar with other foods growing up I ate a pretty well balanced diet basically because of my mom my mom's a great cook and we had friends from diverse backgrounds so I had dishes from the Philippines dishes from Germany dishes from Mexico we ate a lot of different things none of the foods that I was being told were healthy looked like anything that I was familiar with and I tried quite a few of them because I am adventurous when it comes to food and a lot of things I just didn't like. And I wanted to cook with seasoning. I use oil, I use butter. I didn't want to have to cut out any of those things. And a lot of the magazines would say, oh, don't eat this, don't eat that. And telling me not to eat something is surefire way to get me to eat it. I did a master cleanse for all of an hour years ago, which I would not advise, but I tried it, I hated it and I ended up eating my body weight in chocolate after that. So I do not deprive myself. I don't have foods that I think are bad. I eat the best that I can as often as I can. I try to eat as many fruits and vegetables as I can. I'm always trying to get water in my body. Some days I fall off the wagon. One week I was having an especially terrible week and I ate chips and dip for dinner. Did it twice in a row. Had a few for breakfast the following day. Was that bad for me? The sodium was bad for me. I puffed up like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. This is the reality addition of what I eat in a day. I try my best to eat things that are good for me, that make me feel good. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Sometimes it's just whatever I have in the pantry and whatever I have in the pantry might not be the best. But I don't punish myself. I just try to do better the next time. When it comes to dessert, since I went off on a tangent, after I've had my dinner, I don't tend to keep snacks in the house mainly because I have not grown up when it comes to portion control. If I have ice cream, I'm having all the ice cream. I might have one portion like a normal person, but it's gonna call me out of bed in the middle of the night and I'm gonna be eating straight out of the refrigerator or the pantry. So I will have a cupcake or ice cream or cookies while I'm out. I'll have it if I'm having friends with over for dinner, we'll have it and I'll send it the leftovers with them. I will go to the cupcake shop to get a cupcake and eat a cupcake. I cannot be left alone with a dozen cupcakes. A gallon of ice cream is not a good thing in my hands. I, I have admitted my shortcomings. When it comes to dessert and sweet things, I cannot have them in the house. I will eat them all. So as a substitute, I will have tea. I'll have a milk tea. I'll have a full cup of oat milk and I'll put my loose leaf tea in one of the little sifters and let it steep. And while that's doing that, I will make whip up some whipped cream. I'll get heavy whipping cream. I might add a little vanilla or infuse it with another flavor and compile it. Some days I'll make boba. I keep the boba pearls here at the house. I have the straw for the boba. Tea is my go-to. It's just very comforting. It makes me very happy. Plus the ceremony of compiling my milk tea at night is a good way for me to wind down. It is made with oat milk and cream. Sometimes I'll use brown sugar. I'll top it with cinnamon. It just feels very special and I can have it as often as I want. I don't have boba as often because I get carried away. Once again, when it comes to sweet things, I don't have the best control. So I try to curb that a little bit. Other than that, that's kind of what I do. Like I said, some days it's Donut City for breakfast. Some days it's chips and dip for dinner. I try not to let those days happen very often, but I don't punish myself 
when they do. And I've also learned that eating healthy and eating nutritiously looks different for different people. It doesn't have to be one way. Anyway, that's my journey. That's what I eat in a day. I hope my food journey helps you feel better about your food journey. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna end this video. Love and donuts. Bye.